Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna and I am a recovering addict. I have been sober since September 27th of 2016 and today I want to do something a little bit different. About a week ago now on my stories I asked what do you guys want to ask of me so that we can do a get ready with me video and I could answer some questions for you. So that is what I'm going to do today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, for today's look I am going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible Palette. So the first color I'm going to lay down in, in my crease and then kind of all over the upper lid is this shade Chai. So the first question somebody asked was my two favorite brands. I always buy from Jeffree Star. Um, I may not get it on launch date, just, you know, due to funds or due to not wanting to I don't want to deal with that shit show that is spending three hours to check out. Um, but up until the Jawbreaker palette, I do own everything. And number two, just based on what I have most of, I guess it would be Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am a little salty with how they've been, how they chose to release products at the um, end of the year. Um, I did make a video on that when I reviewed the Jackie Anna palette, but that's fine. I still do have all of their regular palettes. I do enjoy them. I have a highlighter from them. Weirdly enough, I've never tried a brow product from them and that's what they're known for. I'm just gonna lightly stamp this in the crease here and then we'll blend it out. So the next question is brands I don't support. I used to support Kat Von D. The reason I don't anymore is, I mean, really, I don't find like she's come out with anything innovative. I did have an issue for a while with her on the anti-vax standpoint, but I know she came out a while ago and said that she's actually going to talk to her pediatrician. I do hope that they did that and that they decided to move forward with vaccinating the child, especially because with where they live, there was an outbreak of measles not that long ago um and it it bugs me that people are anti-vax because they don't want a child with autism and I'm kind of like oh cool so you'd rather have a dead child than a child with autism well that's not ableist at all I don't support Kylie Cosmetics or KKW because I just fucking hate the Kardashians I, I just I can't with them I, I really don't have the time or the energy. I find them so obnoxious. Um, I, I don't like them. I can't, I, everything they do is for a money grab. Like, every, their show is so scripted. And that, and I, I, I'll admit I used to watch it when it first came out. Um, but with every reality show, you can kind of see the progression of when things start to be scripted. I find the whole family annoying. I find that whole, oh, I'm a self-made billionaire thing annoying. Bitch, please. Self-made my ass. You're rich because your mom forced you in front of a camera at a young age. I'm going to take the shade Moo and pop that where I cut the crease just using my finger. Okay, so the next question is how I got into makeup, and that is a bit loaded. So, I started taking dance when I was four, and when you're in dance, you have to take recital or do recitals. And so, I have been doing my makeup. I think my mom did it for the first couple of years, so I probably started doing my own makeup at about seven or eight but it was very stage heavy. So like blue, purple, green eyeshadow, red lips, um, thick black liner. And then when I was 10, I remember, I clearly remember asking for makeup for my birthday and uh, caboodles, cause caboodles was like the big thing. Back then I'm drastically aging myself at this point. Um, and I got my caboodles. I actually still have it. I should show you guys. It's even got the little nameplate, which I have since lost because the sticker on that was such garbage. 
But, um, yeah, so I got that and I got a bunch of like Wet n Wild makeup and Wet n Wild makeup back in the day used to come in white packaging. So funny. Um, and I had no idea what I was doing with it. I would just have fun and play. Um, then I was, I actually wasn't allowed to wear makeup until I was in the eighth grade. So at 13, 14, I started, back then you just kind of wore like a CoverGirl compact. Um, get into it the way that I am now. Before I had a child, I was very much into like sewing, jewelry making, painting, crafting. And when you have a kid, it's not that you can't do that stuff, but it's obviously they're very time consuming because it's every four hours on clockwork when they're a newborn. And then when they get older, they want to see what you're doing. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I want to paint. And by the time you get their paint set up ready, and they're painting and then you get your paint set up ready and they're like, I'm done. Or if it's sewing, you know, they're gonna like put their fingers on the machine and we don't we don't have time for that. There's needles. So just no, stay away. Um so I had no creative outlet. That was really frustrating and I needed something. And that, by the time I started getting into it, my son was he had just turned three, so he was like, it had been three years with nothing creative to do. I decided, okay, I will do this, and it's a way for me to be expressive and still be artistic, and it is one of my tools of recovery that I use to stay sober and sane and not get into a really dark place. This is where I come, and I sit in front of my vanity, or I sit in front of the camera, and I do this, and... I love it. I wish I would have started sooner. All right, next I'm going to take that boy shade again, and I'm just gonna tap that on that outer V area and mix it in to the gold that we put on. Just so we don't have that weird harsh line. And then I'm also gonna take it up on the edge of the gold. Just so everything is nice and blended. Answer, I'm going to take this bare shade and I'm just going to clean up that top color. Good news, before we go on to the next question, I put on my Instagram stories and on Twitter that I think I made my first PR list and I did have a brand reach out to me. They are called Esquito and they wanted to send me two or they wanted to send me an eyeliner for me to review for you guys and let you know what I think and they arrived so i'm very excited um they asked me which one i wanted and i said black their choices were black or brown i said black and they sent both of them that feels so cool so this is my first pr experience um we are going to try them out i'm going to use it on the top lid it did say when i was reading um on the box here because i i did open it up just to kind of look at them i haven't swatched them or anything yet i just wanted to see the packaging it says, twist to dispense a small amount and apply. Replace cap after using to prevent drying. Keep away from children. Avoid getting into eyes. So I am not going to use it on my waterline just because that doesn't sound so good because it, says, because it says, wash immediately with warm water if contact occurs. So I think this is strictly meant for the top of the eye. Um, it does expire after six months. And this is what the component looks like. The brown one looks exactly the same, except for right here, it has a brown line instead of a black line. All right, and here is the crayon. And you twist this part here to dispense it up. And what's nice about these is the cap won't fall off because it has this silicone part right here to keep the cap on. So let's see if this glides easily. I have pretty wrinkly eyelids and usually I have a hard time using crayons up top. It is very creamy.
it is not the blackest that I've used, but it's also not a liquid liner. So I experience it coming on in this kind of smoked out way, um, no matter what crayon I use. So I'm not mad at that. Um, it catches a bit, but I have very wrinkly lids, so I'm not surprised. Let me wipe off the gold on there, and then I will give it a swatch for you. So as you can see, all the gold is taken off of the tip. And then I will swatch it for you. As you can see, it goes on very creamy. It's a very soft black. It's not like that intense pure black. It has some warmth to it. So if you want something that's not so cool toned or not so like in your face, um, this I think is a pretty good product for you. Um, yeah, it glides on pretty easily. My eyelids are terrible to try these things on. So I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, I don't have a coat or anything. I wasn't asked to sell it. I just, I do like this. Um, the only thing I wish is that it didn't have that disclaimer on it because I am really scared to put it in the waterline and that's where I normally put pencil type products is in my waterline but that's okay I mean it this is great for a smoky eye I'll have to try the brown one sometime but I will swatch the brown one for you so again the same component and here's what the brown looks like and here it is swatched very creamy. Oops, went a little hard. That's a really pretty brown. That's a really pretty brown. I like that a lot. Okay, let's move on to the face for now. So, um, I ordered from Sephora. They came out with these new Fenty trios, which are so cool. Because first of all, they're magnetic. How cute is that? but it is their matchstick formula and they sell them by skin tone so that you can get a foundation, a contour, and a highlighter. I thought that was so cool. I am going to prime using the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat Blur Primer. This stuff is a holy grail. Okay, so taking that stick in the shade Linen, Okay, so this is definitely not full coverage, which I don't mind. I'm not a big fan of like full on coverage anyway anymore. I'm too old, so it just settles. Um, I would like a little bit more, but I'm gonna put on concealer and it's gonna be fine. So for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. The next question is, health goal for 2020? That's also a bit loaded, and here's why. Another tool of recovery for me is actually my routine, and I work out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'm very fortunate that at my workplace I can do that, um, and I have my routine, and routines are very important for me. And so that's not changing any. I don't believe in diets. I believe they are created to fail because they are, you know, we've all been there. As soon as you go off of them, you gain all the weight and then some because most of them are based on a starvation model. When you are in a starvation mode and you finally eat again, your body is like, fuck, we have to preserve this and it turns into fat. That's how diets are meant to work. So. I guess my health goal is just to take my recovery to the next level. And what I mean by that is a couple videos back, I talked about how I have a really hard time being vulnerable in person. This is easy. I can't feel your judgment across the screen unless you leave me a shitty comment. And then if it's something I know not to be true, I give two shits about your shitty comment because it's not true. So... 
I would like to be able to talk to people easier and make friends. Um, I left all my friends behind when I moved, but at the same time, when I moved, I was very much in active addiction, so it's not like it was the best people for me to be hanging around at the time. Um, so I would like to make healthy friends, which is very hard. Um, it's hard to find healthy people when you're an adult and it's either family, which most addicts have a family of origin that's not very healthy, so you have that dynamic there, or workplace, and if people in your workplace aren't healthy, good luck. Um, I don't go out because I have my kid. He's not old enough to stay home by himself. I don't like asking people for help. That is a character defect of mine. So in other words, it was a really long fucking way of saying my health goal for 2020 is just to take my recovery to the next level. Um, maybe I could sponsor someone. Maybe I get a friend. That's it. Okay, so the contour shade that they have is called Amber for light, for like, I think a fair light range. Okay, next question is Holy Grails. Okay, I'm trying to use as much of them as I can because I knew that was a question. Um, so the uh, Yves Saint Laurent primer that we used is definitely a holy grail. Um, well, actually, let me go in order here. So I do, if we're going in order of foundation down. I guess my holy grail foundation would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid. Okay, so for concealer, um, ooh, that's pink. For concealer, I would have to say Tarte Shape Tape. I keep going back to it. So next would put us at powder. Um, I have to say either the Laura Mercier or the Cover Effects. Um, they're really nice. I probably prefer the Laura Mercier a bit more strictly because it's not, uh, no, actually reverse that. The cover effects more than the Laura Mercier because the Laura Mercier is a tad yellow. So for, what would be next? Contour. Um, I mean, we just used it. I think that's going to have to be the new Holy Grail. And now that I know what shade I should use, because that was my problem. I didn't know what shade to use to cream contour ever. But with these trios, I mean, now if I run out of that, I can just go buy another one. But for a powder contour, it would definitely be the um, Too Faced Milk Chocolate. My powder brush just broke. Look at this. Well, it's a kabuki brush now. Okay. Okay. So next would be blush um to be honest i i really like the tart blushes but i honestly couldn't care much about blush but tart blushes are really nice and then for highlight my all-time favorite highlighter it just doesn't go with everything but my all-time favorite highlighter because it's so fun and it's so pretty is the space baby one I love that blue shift. Anytime I wear like blue or do something kind of alien, I wear it. God, that's pretty. For a standard like champagne -y, it would either have to be um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Sarcophagus or the Flexitarian from ColourPop. And then if I want a gold, it's it's always Amrezy from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So yeah, but this is my most favorite. Next holy grail eye palette. I mean, it's whatever I'm in the mood for. If I want to do reds, I'll use blood sugar. If I want to use blues, I'll use, you know, blue blood or the flower bomb palette. It really depends on what. If I don't like a palette, I get rid of it somehow. I'll give it to my mom, I'll give it to my sister, whatever. 
So my sister's taking a couple of palettes. My mom's taking a couple of palettes. I just get rid of them if I don't like them. So everything I own, it's not necessarily like a holy grail. I guess if I had to, a neutral palette I couldn't live without, um, Easy Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. Um, colorful palette I couldn't live without would have to be the Flower Bomb palette from Midas Cosmetics because it's the only true rainbow palette that I have where I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So there's that. Um, what comes next? Eyeliner. Unless someone comes and beats it, the Hank and Henry eyeliner will always be the holy grail. It was roller liner from Benefit for a while, but this is uh, the new one. It's mascara. If anyone can find me a mascara that works for me where I don't have to put lashes on, let me know. Lipsticks. Honestly, my favorite formula, even more than Jeffree Star Cosmetics, is Too Faced. Like, and I only have one color. But their formula is so comfortable. So comfortable. And it, the, at least the shade I have dries down so well. Oh, so good. And it, that uh, the shade I have is Queen Bee, if anyone wants to know. Let's go ahead, now that the face is done, let's go ahead and finish up this eye look. I am going to take this NYX pencil. It's called like the Wonder Pencil, and I'm just going to pop this in my waterline. And then I'm going to take the shade Boy and put that right up against that waterline. And then I'm going to take that shade Chai again and kind of blend the two together. Okay, for that inner corner highlight shade, I'm going to take Bowley. I'm just going to tap that right there. For lips, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Can't Relate. Okay, to top off the lip, I'm going to take this Ultra Glossy Lip by ColourPop X Delilah, and this is in the shade New Day. I got this free for some reason. Oh, I got a shipment like super late. And they sent this to me for free, which was extra nice. All right, guys, so I'm going to pop off camera and put on my mascara and lashes, and then we will finish up this video. All right, guys, this is it. This is the final look. I did put on those Violet Voss lashes. These are in the style Sexy and I Know It. And for mascara, I did use the Benefit Roller Lash. The final thing that we have to do is set our face. I picked up the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I've never tried it, so. Okay guys, that is it. Let me know down below what you thought of this video. Do you like these types of videos? If so, please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you could please subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Please make sure to follow me at Recovered Feminist on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Hive, TikTok, all the social medias except for Snapchat. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.